Must have been traveling for a while. Let me know if I get. Hey, think again. Oh, it's your lucky day. Hey, you shouldn't be there. Don't mess around in here. Please. Sorry, pal. This is invitation only. Why are you doing this? Hey. I want to see what you got behind that door back there. Now! <laughs> Nothing. This is a back terrace where people go relax and just get away from everything. Let's go in and relax then. Go on, move. Open up, it's me! Again. Must be a slow day. You know how it goes. So there you are. Where else would I be? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Do you... need something? No, just came to get some fresh air. All right, then. Being cooped up all day just like a canary. You sh <clears throat> Hey! What the hell's going on? Hey, there's no need for that. Why all the security? What the hell's going on back here? No, nothing. Honest, I'm just paid to guard the place. To guard the back alley? Don't lie to me, you son of a bitch. I just do what I'm told. I don't ask too many questions. All right, you've got three seconds before your goddamn corpse. Three, two. Okay, okay. Take it easy. <sighs> A little poker game, that's all. Third floor, upstairs. Door at the end of the hallway. Uh, just calm down. Just come. Third damn floor. Put a goddamn bullet in it! Oh no, please, I don't want to die. Just take it and leave, please. We don't want any trouble. Oh there God, you know. no! Relax. It's all 
Just, I'm not just, doing just stay anything. calm, okay? I will shoot you dead right there if you don't tell me where the rest of the money is. Oh, no, 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 please. Keep it together, you imbecile. You're gonna get us killed, Jim. Just tell him. Shut the hell up. There's plenty more in that safe on the wall, but only he knows the combination. Whoa, All then, right, I'll open easy. the damn safe. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. Okay, fella.
Hey there, come on over. I got something here that might be of interest. What you got for me this time, Hector? Coach heading to Appleseed Timber. Supposed to be a lot of guns. Might want to catch them off guard. Okay. People waiting on you. See that? Feller's dead down there. Must have gone off the cliff. Yep. I think he's from that uh, cabin up the way there. Poor bastard. Well, uh, guess I'll tell the sheriff when I get to town. So. Get off there, now! Come on, move it!
I got some horse shit. We got a bushwhacker prop convoy. He's dead. Stop right where you are. You're dead! Ah! You don't take hands with it. Just ain't very tough. Easy. Arthur, you free? Sure, old man. Nah, enough of that old man nonsense. I'm in the prime of my life. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> How you getting now? Bored. You see that swamp, Arthur? That's God's own pantry. What are we eating? Venison? Come on, let's go gather some crawfish. See what else we can get. Crawfish? Yeah, crawfish. Finest eating there is. It's not just crawfish. No. There's monsters out there that'll eat a feller for fun. Oh, Arthur, I thought you were a man. No, sir. Huh. When it comes to prehistoric monsters, I am very much a coward. <laughs> Whew. Head for those trees across from us, and we'll take a look. On the starboard side. The what? My left, your right. This is a boat, Arthur. Okay. Whatever you say. Okay, go slow so I can see. My eyes aren't what they used to be. No, no, ground is too high here. Keep following the shoreline. What exactly are we looking for? We're looking for low ground and a lot of muck. Pull us in over there. Here? Yeah, yeah, come on. There's more than crawfish in this water. Stop your whining, please. This is the place. It's beneath now you. Now tell me, Arthur, have you ever birthed a cow? No. 
It's nothing like that, but it's equally as gruesome if you're squeamish. You're really selling this, aren't you? Now, do you see this all? Yep. Well, it's sort of like a natural trap. Just want to stick your hand in. Watch. And there! <laughs> there, you see? Good. Well, seems easy enough. Uh-huh. Let's go find another hole. So, how long were you in the Navy? Oh, years. Well, it must have been a year, at least. Or close to that. That's quite a range. All water under the bridge now. No pun intended. Oh, look there. Another crayfish hole. You see it? You try this time, Arthur. And remember to reach down deep and get right in there. They like to dig in, the little blighters. You're not squeamish, are you? Any luck? Uh, I got something. Nicely done. Why don't you see if there's any more down there? Go on. One more squelch down there can't hurt. There we go. What did I tell you? Okay, come on. Let's try another hole. Won't be much of a gumbo if we don't find some more. Get down. Get down. Talking of other creatures. There. Those gators? Yeah. Three. And they're female. Must be guarding nests. So... Gator eggs. Really valuable. Even better eating. I'd love cooking with them. Okay. Tell you what. I'm gonna sneak over to the other side of them, draw their attention, and then run like hell. Now, assuming I don't get eaten, you go plunder the nests. That's your plan? You're madder than I thought. Shh. I've done it before in Sumatra. It's easy. I've heard that line before. Oh, ye of little faith. Wait here, Mr. Morgan. All right, sir, take us back to the dock. Excellent. That's what I call teamwork. I don't think I've ever seen you move that fast. People pay a lot of money for those eggs. I'm told there's a collector in San Denis who gives top dollar for them. For millinery, of all things. Yeah, I've met him. He's quite a character. That was fun. Uh, I must get out more. Is that your idea of fun, is it? Oh, what? Thank you. Here, have some crawfish. 
and give you some of those eggs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you could hatch that. Get yourself a new friend. There's a thought. A new reptilian best buddy to replace Mike, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> You been on the rum again? Come up here. Well, time to get my beauty sleep.
So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? But deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yep. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Grand. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job? Or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people, let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. But with all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah. We need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. My God. He's the only one left with any loyalty. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking.
Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend... Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. Be live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number, big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Well, I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunty? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why even in the swamp, waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Whoa. Stop where you are. That's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. Mr. Arthur, this trap is stuck in the mud. Uh, it happens. Uh. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was 
No, but only some huge can do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I... I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Hold up. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into the jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Be Jules. Yeah. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I, I got the skiff. It's over here. Yeah. Stuck. to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Now what? I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we clear. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> You'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of cracked gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Shit! 
Where'd he go? You must be close, Arthur. Come on. Come on, Arthur. Find him. Help! Help! I'm coming. Help! I got you, Sim. I got you. Oh, God, no. Dutch, shoot something. Oh, oh, oh. Hurry up, Arthur. God, oh, just God, no. You. Please hurry. Keep Fire going. off a couple hurry. of warning shots just to pretend oh. you care. I got you covered. God, no. Please hurry. Come on! Don't uh, stop! Here, give me the Don't more. stop! Hurry! Hurry! Put him here, come on! Give him here, come here. Come on, come on, quickly, quickly! Leg hurt pretty bad. He should be okay. Get in! He's coming right for us! Finish that! Arthur, you're gonna be all right, Jewel. Just hold on. Shoot that thing. He's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in him! Okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Uh, Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need me. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Brunty. Bad man. I know. 
Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. Well. Missed you, boy. Yep. There you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <sighs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you, though, I do. <clears throat> well, like leaving love aside, I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got.
pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. Let's go. Find some cover. Two up ahead. Arthur. Good. Now kick that damn door in. Look out! Friend, I, I, no, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. I think Dutch wants to have a little.
him in front. Bill. Bill. You got him? Oh, come on, Lenny. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? You're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth has got to be disposed <laughs> of. Our friends of Pinkerton's are going to come and rescue you, you <laughs> repulsive little maggot. <laughs> 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 Philosophy books cover feeding a fellow, the goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Long time, boy. That's good, boy. Yeah.
Out of the damn way! Ah, hello. I don't think I gave a receipt last time, did I? Let me do that right now. So, what are we looking at? This is a big one. Armored bank and coach heading into Strawberry. You'll probably need something to blow the doors. All right. Good seeing you, Hector. Step down from here nice and easy, no but
slow up now. Welcome back. So, buying or selling? Right, let's see. Pleasure doing business with you. I hope you make something pretty with that. Been a pleasure doing business with you. Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. Here, should do the trick. Sell the stores. You want my wares? Right here's the one place to find them. Fine clothes. There, what do you think? Fine clothes. Thanks. Oh, saddles delivered right to your stick. How you doing, boy? 
There we go. That's it. Time to go, boy. Yeah.
Easy, easy. Whoa! Glad to see you again, sir. All right, let's have a look. Hope you make good use of that. Take your time. Okay, fella.
Easy.
Okay, then. Easy now. Easy, boy. Gotta be done.
Come on now, boy. Come on, pal. Yeah.
Let's go, boy. Yeah. Easy. True justice in action. Yeah. 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 When a beautiful young lady ridiculed your disfigurement. Disfigurement? You murdered her in cold blood. For your awful vanity and pride, you will pay. Oh, you yeah. her all right. Please remember me, friend. As you leave. Help me out again. Any last yeah. words Would before you? the noose? That ugly bitch deserved what she got. Uh, she deserved it. Seems Enough. ironic, huh? Pull. Oh. There he goes. I heard the neck snap. 
Damn. Cruel and abhorrent behavior will not That's stand in this else. country. See his legs twitching. Justice won this battle, but the war is far from over. Heed these words. Bravo! And it makes me hungry. Hey, what's that? I helped no, bring this fella to a doctor blood once. Makes me feel Apparently, alive. he knew how to put on the charm. I could go I'm sure you did the right thing. I guess everyone deserves a chance, even that rich. Hello there. Where's the fella who was here last time I came in? Oh, you probably mean my brother. Far away from here, I hope, not sullying my good name any further. So you don't know nothing about those fellers he had chained up in the basement? Of course not. I was out of town. Now, is there something I can help you with? I really don't want to talk about that sordid business. Hello. Please be careful. Hello again. That was quick. Move! Time to go, boy. 